Today in this video, I am going to show you how to use the Google Play Console internal test track to upload your Android apps for immediate testing. But before showing that, I just want to take 2 to 3 minutes to tell why should we use internal test track in the first place, why don't we release the app directly to production and what are the differences between internal, closed and open test tracks. So don't skip the video because these are very important and watch till the end. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. Before releasing the app to production, we can create releases on these three testing tracks. Internal testing, closed testing and open testing. Because this each phase of testing helps you to find any issues, crashes and also you can get the feedback from your testers to make improvements to your app and offer a flawless experience to the end users. So first let me start with internal testing track. After creating and setting up the store listing of your app, I suggest you to first create an internal testing release to quickly distribute your app to up to 100 testers for initial quality assurance checks. Because this internal test track is much faster than the open or closed testing tracks. When you publish a new Android app bundle to the internal test track, it will be available to testers within minutes. So this will help you identify issues and receive feedback earlier in your development process. And Google also run your app on configured devices and gives you the pre-launch report where you can check your app's performance and stability issues. This app is not visible to general public on Play Store except the list of testers you added in test track. But here, one thing you have to remember, if you are releasing an app for the first time, it will be immediately available to internal testers, but it will have a temporary name and store listing information for up to 48 hours. So once you are done with internal test track and you want to share your app with your smaller group of colleagues or trusted users, you can go for closed testing. In this closed testing, you can test the pre-release versions of your app with a wider set of testers as compared to internal testing. Unlike 100 testers in the internal testing, you can create a total of 200 lists of testers and each list can have up to 2000 users in the closed testing release. Same as internal testing, this app is not visible to general public except the list of testers added in closed test track. And the build released in closed testing will be visible in Google Play Store only after the Google Play's review. So the first release of closed testing build might take up to 24 hours to be available for testers. So once you have tested your app with a smaller group of colleagues or users, you can expand your test to an open release. This is the final and the most extended form of app testing. In open release, you can test your app with a large group or surface on Google Play. If you run an open test, anyone can join your testing program and submit private feedback to you. Means your app is visible to the general public on Google Play after Google Play's review. Unlike internal and closed testing releases, in open testing release, you need not specify testers email IDs. You can just mention how many testers can use your app like specifying a limit of minimum 1000 to unlimited testers. Okay, now coming back to the point, I am going to show you step by step procedure to upload your Android app bundle for internal testing which is fast, flexible and safe method for testing. The first step is create app bundle file. So go to uh, your Android studio, build, generate signed bundle or APK. This process of creating signed Android app bundle I already explained in my earlier video. I will give the link in description box. You can go through that if you want. Okay. Finally, click finish. So .aab file got generated. The second step is create the testers list. For that, go to your Google Play console, select the app, go to release section and select internal testing. Here, set up the internal test track first by selecting the testers, then you can create the release and rollout. So click on select testers. Here I already have some testers list, but to create a new list, click on create email list. Enter the list name and add the testers email addresses with comma separated. For example,
like this and press enter see the email address has got added and you can also upload the csv file with list of email addresses okay click on save changes and click create here so the created list got added to the testers list here you can mention your email address to get the feedback from your testers and after releasing the build you can copy and share this link to your testers to join your test okay come back see the testers were selected the next step is creating the internal test release see there are no internal releases for this app here you can create a new release but uh, i have created an app bundle for my another app opening the kids abc master app go to internal testing here i have some of my internal releases now click on create new release drop the signed app bundle file it started uploading the build meanwhile come down here write release name this is to identify the internal release build version and also write release notes like what features or changes are included for this test release okay build was uploaded click on review release and do start rollout to internal testing this release will be available to your internal testers okay click on rollout so the build is immediately available for internal testers if it is closed or open testing you get an in review status here okay now go to pre launch report overview testing in progress is displayed for our internal test version so once the tests are completed on configured devices by google you get a detailed report here then you can find if any crashes or issues or warnings beforehand so that you can fix them and release another build of internal release version now the last step is sharing the internal test build come back to internal testing go to testers here you can select the testers list but max 100 testers can join your internal test here multiple lists also you can select but i am selecting the list that i i recently added okay now copy this link to share it to your testers if you open the link in the browser you can see this page you have been invited to an internal test of kids abc master because i logged into google with that testers email id mentioned in internal tester, testers list if not you don't get this page okay come back to play console save changes yes all the steps are done now share this link to your testers i am using my whatsapp web to share the test link but you can use any media for this send the link now i will open the link in my mobile for internal testing see the same page is visible here because my google mail id was added as a tester for this internal test release in the testers list of internal test track okay click on accept invite now you can download the app by clicking on download it on google play link okay but this is my production version showing on google play see the app version is different so let me clear the cache uh, for google play store app go to settings apps google play store storage click on clear data okay confirm it now go back to the page and click on the download link see the internal beta app is visible to download and test you can confirm this by the app version in app info page so this way the testers can install the internal test release build onto their devices and test it and any time the tester can leave this internal test program by clicking the leave the program button in this page and install the production version from google play 
So if you feel internal test build is stable and there are no issues, then you can promote this version to closed testing and share the link to large number of testers. Or you can promote to open testing to get the live feedback from Google Play users means anyone can join your open test on Google Play and provide you the feedback. Hope this video helped you to understand about internal test track and if you could create the internal test release for your Android app by watching this video, please comment, like the video and subscribe to iReka Tech Solutions. Thank you.